So now we don't have to wait. Chris Illich, all about his vote. And hey, listen, I changed my vote on the CBT. I like money. Take a listen. Uh, we all know all 30 major league owners voted 30 to 0 to approve the collective bargaining agreement, uh, or rather to ratify that agreement. Um, when we ratified that, that agreement, um, I think it, it became very evident that this is an agreement that has an increase in salary for pre-arbitration players. It has a bonus pool that was added for um, some of our brightest young players. And importantly, it has an increase in the collective bargaining tax threshold. So the evidence is very clear as to how I voted and what I voted for. Any other controversy around that subject? Is, is really just noise that was created, you know, really for, within a very competitive environment, you know, a, a tough negotiation, and teams creating noise, you know, for their own gain or their own advantage. So, you know, the evidence is really clear as to what I voted for and, and how I voted. Uh, so, I'll leave it at that. I'm going to let cookies go first on this because if I get started, I probably won't stop. 
place. Okay. There's one other thing he said too, where he said we spent more money than anybody else in baseball this year, which is just patently false. So we didn't play that. I don't know if we have that. You want to play that as well? Here's him lying. Go ahead. I guess the only other thing I would say is if you look at what Allen is doing and what our organization has done during this off season. Um, you know, we've addressed a lot of needs. Um, we, we have gone out and done exactly what we said we would do, which is to fill our needs for free agency. And when you look at what we've added, uh, our club added as much payroll as any club in baseball over the course of this off season. So I think you add it all up. It's pretty clear where I stand on this issue. And my record is very clear in terms of, you know, how I voted and what I voted for. Okay, so back to the you guys have to sort. Yeah, so he goes back into the vote. He really wanted to drill that home, that, that the final vote was unanimous. Hey, Chris, what about the previous vote that was reported on by four different people with access to the room? And you got raked over to Coles because of it, and that's probably the reason you changed your vote. Go ahead. Exactly. Go I'll stay out of it. So he's very adamant about his record, making sure we have him on the record and we know where he stands. You know what your record is, Chris? How much money you spend. And apparently you aren't even all up on the particulars of that because... The Texas Rangers spent $500 million this offseason. The Dodgers and the Mets spent more money than you this offseason. You didn't spend more than everybody in baseball. Your record is what you're spending, and it's 19th. That's your record. But you know what I do like, Mike? That it got to him. I love that it got to him, which to me means if you're listening to this right now and you're upset, don't stop continue to apply pressure to this ownership because if they win more they need to spend more and that will be chris illich's record more than anything else about some vote in some room that he's so adamant about and can we be clear? i was on the same page as everybody be clear on something too 32 million of this payroll is is dead body that chris illich if he could get rid of miguel cabrera they wouldn't replace mickey's payroll they'd sit here with a 70 million dollar payroll now i understand they're not the cleveland guardians they're not the baltimore Orioles. Those teams ought to be contracted for having payrolls of $30 million. Miguel Cabrera makes more money than the entire organization of the Cleveland Guardians and the Baltimore Orioles. It's an embarrassment. But my point is, we have sat here through one of the most brutal rebuilds you can remember, and you're going, wait, Correa just signed the one-year deal with Minnesota. Well, I spent more. No, you didn't. You signed two two-year deals for guys who couldn't get long-term commitments. You got the fourth or fifth best shortstop on a market on a two-year deal because if he's good, he's opting out. And Erod, if he's good, he's opting out. You didn't sign some eight-year deal. You didn't go out and bring Matt Scherzer back. Stop. There's no need to pretend. But I agree with Cookies on this. That got to him. That bothered him. And you know what I say? Good. Good on any fan who talks about it. Good on any host who talks about it. Good on any writer who writes about it. Because it's embarrassing. And I will stand by this. The fact that Carlos Correa went to Minnesota on a series of one-year deals after the lockout and you wanted to show what your record is, you didn't like the fact that it leaked out, that you voted against the CBT threshold, that who are we kidding, you will never approach, which it even made okay, no sense. By the way, that's his record his willingness to approach the CBT. So if Chris wants to make sure his record is clean, well, he knows exactly how to do right. it. Right. Tigers are at 107, by the way. The CBT is at 220. You're not halfway there. And if we really look at 32 million of sunk cost, it's not even a, an actual payroll expenditure. It's just money you lit, your dad lit on fire. The reality is you're operating with a $70 million team. You got a zillion kids. Who you don't have to pay for a long while this was the time you could have really energized everything and gone and, and look by the way not every move is about expenditure frankie montes wasn't going to cost you anything two years of team control but the, i just the correa thing and then you hear these comments and i'm like man he he really didn't like the criticism he took well too bad too bad this town wants a winner these people want to go to the ballpark. They want to spend their money. They want to care. And I don't think it's too much to ask for the Detroit Tigers to stay, say, 80 million under the CBT. Well, well how about this? To, to 80. To paraphrase the song that was jamming in the background. Meet me in the middle. 
I mean, come on. You're, you're, they're not even halfway to the luxury tax. Right. Halfway. And you said it's 220, 230. Yeah. They're not even halfway. They're 107 and 32 of it is Mickey's dead body. Right. So meet us in the middle. No one's saying go all the way up to the tax right, right. now after a 77 win season. Nope. But the talk about you being cheap, the talk about your vote, it got to him. And you're 19th in payroll. And when 32 million of it is nothing that anyone wants here, you're really lower than that. They could have spent knowing that 32 is going to disappear, but you know what Chris is going to do? He's going to wait for it to disappear, which is the cheap move. I, I thought it was hilarious that he wanted to explain. My vote is very clear. Yeah, the final vote, any follow-up about the previous vote? Right. Those, those writers just made up and included your name for no reason? I'm, I'm still trying to understand that. Is he claiming that at no point he voted to keep the tax flat? Because we had four different reporters with access to the room say it happened. Well, and the embarrassing and he hasn't part, denied it. All he's done is say, well, the final vote I was the with the embarrassing owners. embarrassing part is the Oakland A's are participating in a fire sale, didn't even vote no to the CBT. The Tampa Bay Rays will never spend CBT level money. They still voted yes to the increase in the CBT. Like, it's just, it's a bad look. You own it. It is what it is. I, I just don't understand how that's the hill he wants to die on. How about you go spend on your ball club? I mean, this is what I mean, people. You want to know why I attacked the two deals he signed so much? It's because they so badly, and certain people in the media so badly, want to sell you the narrative that Chris spent. He's not what you say. Look at Javi Baia. And you're like, okay, but here's the reality. It's a two-year deal with an opt-out because if Javi Baez resurrects himself and actually gets his strikeout rate below 32%, he will opt out of here. If Erod comes in, and I happen to like Eduardo Rodriguez, I think there's an ability for him to be very good here. Let me help you. He will opt out after two years. You didn't make bold financial commitments. You did window dressing. You went from doing nothing and having Zach Short play for you to doing just enough. But I am not going to allow that and that ridiculous company line to act like you went out and signed Corey Seager and, and you know, Marcus Simeon and Max Scherz. You, you did. Just stop. <laughs> it's white gold. To re -engage it's white on gold. A one -year deal, basically, <laughs> it's white they gold. They weren't even involved. It's so just stop. That's the biggest gold. issue. To it's me, white is gold. It's white gold. If you said, hey, it's like we may all be at a low ball offer, but an offer that we felt was our ceiling at the time. And what was that offer? Window dressing. Sure. They offered a man $75 million I agree less with than you, he did it's a low ball. It's a low ball. But then the lockout happens, as everybody has noted, the market changes. Okay, guess what? It was less of a financial commitment to keep him. So the ceiling, the amount that you're allowed to spend, went up. And the amount to sign Carlos Correa went, went down. down. And you don't re-engage. Tell me how I'm supposed to interpret that. And tell me how any rational human being is supposed to interpret that. It's not the record that he wants you to think he has. Because again, company messaging comes from the top. The janitors don't get to dictate the company line. The reason the Tigers so badly want you to believe that Chris spent and spent generously and is all in it is because he wants you to believe that. Look at the hill he chose to die on. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't even need to do the question and answer session. If you had signed Carlos Correa, you know what would be happening? Everyone would be effusive in their praise of you. Everyone would have said, wow, maybe Chris is different. But that's the problem in this town. The owners in this town do not step to the plate and ever change the narrative. And I got something else for you. Who's got the lowest payroll in the NHL right now? Oh, wait, the team that he and his family own. So I don't want to hear about, it's not like the Wings have this unbelievable payroll and they're just, uh, just Joe Bucks everywhere. No, no. Tigers are 19th, the Wings are 50th. They might be spending less than the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds. So... I'm just saying, like, 
You want to change the narrative. We don't need games. We don't need uh, uh, you know, the, the fudging of numbers. You just go out and you go, you know what? Let's do this. But they don't want to do it. He doesn't want to spend, oh, oh, I know though, next year, or what was Al's comment? At the deadline we're going to buy. Right. When what? The other team has to pay half the salary? Is that the game we're playing? Because that's another sign you're cheap. I'll take the player right now. You know what I want for the Tigers and their fans? I want to be in a playoff chase. I want to have meaningful games during the doldrums of training camp when this team's got series we need to talk about, decisions we need to talk about, games we need to watch. And I just, I, I don't get a vibe that this guy burns for it, that this guy needs it. And, and again, when you're more concerned about the narrative than you are the actuality. My God, pick up the phone, you could have Carlos. I, I don't want to hear about this, he likes sitting in Minnesota. Stop. Oh, you do? Really? Here's five million extra a year. How much you like the St. Paul uh, Twin Cities now? 248-539-9797. Your call's next. Someone you know has been injured in an auto, truck, or motorcycle accident. Tell them to get David and get paid. The insurance company for the driver who caused that accident, they ain't gonna help you. David makes them pay. Call or text David Femininio today. And you'll speak with him. You're not gonna text or call and get some intern or cookies answering the phone. 855 65 Crash. David will make him pay. Go to getdavidgetpaid.com and get paid. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Beatty, owner of Rapid Roofing. Rapid Roofing uses only the highest quality roofing materials and products. We professionally install your roof and back it up with the best warranty in the business. Think about this. If you're over 50 years old, chances are once we replace your roof, you will never have to get another roof again. You will never have to do it again in your life. Now that's peace of mind. Let Rapid Roofing install a new roof and protect your family's home. 888-360-ROOF. Planet Fitness, home of the Judgment Free Zone, is the official fitness partner of 97.1 The Ticket. Now at T-Mobile, you can get the incredible iPhone 13 on us on the network with more 5G bars in more places. This is the year, Amelia. The year I become a famous influencer. Uh, yeah, why's that? I just got the new iPhone 13 at T-Mobile. It has the most advanced dual camera ever on an iPhone. So my videos and photos are going to look amazing. And check it out. We have 5G. Even out here. Oh. I'll be able to post tons of content. Plus, influencers got to stay fresh, you know? Nice. So, are you going to learn to sing or dance or something? Better. Yodeling. Ooh, let's hike up that hill and do a live stream. Yodeling. Uh, I'm good. Thanks. Get into T-Mobile today. Because when you switch, you can get the new iPhone 13 on us on every plan with eligible trade. All on T-Mobile's 5G network. With more 5G bars in more places. Only a 24 month bill credits with qualifying new line plus tax. For well qualified customers, contact us before canceling service to continue remaining bill credits or credit stock and balance and require finance agreements to T Mobile is America's largest 5G network. Details at T-Mobile.com. Bet MGM, the king of sports books. You've heard of them. They're unleashing the spirit of Las Vegas with Bet MGM rewards. Every time you make a wager at Bet MGM, you earn Bet MGM rewards points. And what you do with them, you redeem them for online bonus credits like free bets. If you're planning a trip to Vegas, you can convert those points into rewards points that you can use towards dining, shows, hotel rooms, all at over 20 MGM resorts located on the Strip and nationwide. BetMGM Rewards, it's sports betting's premier loyalty program. If you're going to bet, you might as well get some bonuses out of it. It features exclusive offers, incredible experiences, and valuable perks. When you wager on the BetMGM app, that's how you get involved. Sign up today with BetMGM or log on and get an even bigger piece of the action with BetMGM Rewards. Visit BetMGM.com for terms and conditions. Must be 21 and up, Michigan only. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. Excludes Michigan disassociated persons. I love my hardwood floors, but I wasn't sure how to take care of them. Carrying around the bucket was such a hassle. And even worse, my string mop left streaks and haze behind then I found Swiffer Wet Jet Wood, the all-in-one tool made specially for wood floors. Its microfiber-like pad is soft, and it sprays a light mist solution that dries fast. With Swiffer Wet Jet Wood, it's easy to keep up with the mess on my wood floors. <sighs> easy not to Swiffer Wet Jet Wood, proud member of the National Wood Floor Association.
It's Tango Day, everybody. Follow after me and step and back and slide and dip. That's Tango. That's a nice tea leading in Tango class. It's probably the heart-shaped Honey Nut Cheerios. He found out they can help lower cholesterol. Now he's having fun taking care of his heart in all sorts of new ways. Let's see those hips move, people. Hurry and get your heart-shaped Cheerio. They're only here for a limited time. Stop by Church's for the hot line flavor combination of our Texas tenders and shrimp meal today. It's butterfly shrimp, alongside made from scratch Texas tenders. Serve spicy or original for six months. Church's. Welcome to the great state of flavor. Offer valid at participating locations. The Detroit Red Wings play the New York Islanders. We game tomorrow at 7.15 on 97.1. The ticket. <laughs> Roberto, you're on here. I need My stupid headphones. Right off. My stupid headphones, Bob. I'm hearing delay. I got, I got a TV on. <laughs> My stupid headphones. My stupid headphones. Oh man, we'll get to the calls, the ticket checks. We got mock draft madness at the bottom of the hour. Tomorrow will be a lot of Wolverine stuff. We got a sweet 16 redraft. We talk about it. I maybe I'm on crack, but I, I just feel like Michigan's got a hell of an opportunity tomorrow night. I know Villanova's good. I know Jay Wright's a wizard. But I'll be damned. It's another team that just is they are guard oriented, and I feel like there's a real shot here that Michigan can get this done. So tomorrow will be a big basketball. Why? No, I'm right there. All right, David, take a text, please. Well, Roberto, mom's in the, remix, mom's in the said, garage uh, waiting for us. Yeah. We need that remix right away. I was tomorrow. checking. Oh, so glad. Was that, a, oh, was that an old come on, I have to do work? To see if she was, was waiting yeah, for Roberto, us or not. Yeah. So glad but you she guys is. are calling Illich out on this nonsense, unlike other people. I don't have the energy today. Just read the next one. Not to defend the please, guy, but the Tigers. God. Not to defend the guy, but the Tigers did spend the fourth most in all of free agency this year. Did they? Did they? What? How many times do I have to explain this? For Christ's sake! 